Hi, I'm Larry. Um, wanted to show you a couple more things that I've done to my trailer. So this is my uh, 7,000 pound GBW. Um, it's made by a company called Quality Trailers Inc. And um, I was looking, I wanted to, to do a toolbox type thing on the front. I wanted to be able to put like a, a Harbor Freight small bottle jack, um, a half inch breaker bar with a short extension and a 19 millimeter socket to fit the wheel bolts. Uh, and then throw some of my ratchet straps, which I get uh, ratchet straps. You can get the 3,000 or 3,300 pound working load, 10,000 breaking load. Um, the yellow, what are they, uh, three inch, I think. Um, they're $9.99 everyday price at Royal King. That's the best deal going. So uh, I'm going to be able to put you know, four of those in there. So I have the 19 D rings all around the trailer. So anything I'm loading. You know, I'll have four or six of those um, Royal King uh, branded, well, I guess they're not branded Royal King, but the, they're unbranded. They're usually in a big crate or something down there by the ratchet straps from trailer stuff. So anyways, this is a DZ box. It's a six cubic foot box. I got it on Amazon. It was, uh, I think, 113 uh, ship, prime shipping. And then um, I got this uh, Max something or another um, tire carrier and... Uh, believe it or not, out of the whole thing, I used the end plate that has the holes for the studs, and I used the uh, the two um, uh, carriage bolts that are the studs uh, for the wheel. I cut all the tubing off, and I cut the mount that's supposed to be bolted onto the front frame of your uh, the, the A-frame of your trailer. So I cut all that crap off, cleaned all their welds, threw all that shit away. I used just the end plate and the two studs and the nuts. And the reason why is... Um, I mocked it up over there, then I decided I was going to buy that toolbox, so I can't have the spare tire mounted onto that frame there with the toolbox, right? So I need to get rid of this. So what I did, I used a piece of 3x3 three three quarter wall tubing, and I, I come from the lower frame angle to the upper frame angle. Um, that 3x3 three three quarter wall uh, probably hold about, I don't know, 3 million pounds. Um, so then I came off of that 45 degree to piece of uh, 2 by 2 um, 3 16 wall uh, tubing coming up and I put the original plate from that Max something something Max um, trailer tire carrier uh, welded that on. So that piece of 2 by 2 3 16 that also could hold about 3.5 million pounds. Um, so then I have their piece of looks like it's about 8 thick. Uh, end plate and I instead of having the carriage bolts stuck in and flopping around loose and you have to use the nuts to hold them in um, I weld them in so that they don't move now they're welded in they're good to go um, and what that allows me now is my toolbox here I have my tire here I could copy this plate real easily not you know I, I should have just made my own but um, I can copy that plate and reproduce this over there and I can have two spare tires one on either side of the toolbox the toolbox with stuff to change the flat and my stuff for time down loads. Uh, the other thing I did, I went to Harbor Freight today. So if you notice right here, they put a step on the, the forward and backward of each wheel well. And the uh, wheel well is also welded to this beam right here. So you can step on that, right? You can step right onto that wheel well. So I went to Harbor Freight and they have this uh, very, very strong adhesive backed um, diamond plate, uh, it's like a hard rubber, and uh, I put two pieces on top, one piece here, one piece there, I did both sides, so that gives you a non-slip surface when it's raining, snowing, stuff like that, you have a real nice non-slip surface to come over and step onto and have a lot of good traction. I've even thought about now going and buying some more of this, stripping it down the middle, and running it, you know, down here for if you, you know, you know at some point you're going to end up walking along that beam. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna break off to a separate video, and I'll show you a little bit closer what I did here. I think you'll like it. Okay, so this is looking at the front side, and what they give you is a lock mechanism. These are uh, threaded straps of steel, um, so they they thread onto your stud. So what you do is you put your acorn nut on, you thread these on, and if you so choose, which I'm not going to use them, I have them on here just for presentation for you. Um, you, you could put a padlock through here and this way nobody could get a, a socket in here and steal your spare rim and tire. Um, you know, it's an interesting idea. It's cheap, it's easy, and it'll get the job done, right? Um, and you know, to take them off, you, you just you simply 
spin them off and they they you see them starting to unthread right there just from by, by me turning that uh, so it's a simple concept one that you could reproduce on your own but uh, that's it so again I come around here so I cut the this plate off of their tubing I threw everything away that they had this is my piece of two by two there's my piece of three by three that's tied into the frame on both sides upper and lower then this was uh, Rural King sourced five, uh, well, seven inch deep uh, square bent U bolts for my toolbox here. Let's see here. So I just threw a pin on here momentarily. So this is a massive, massive toolbox. Now you do need to leave approximately two inches uh, of step out there because the lid does not open within the footprint of the box. If you see, there's the box nearly closed. You have a gap there, so my battery is down there, you see that? But you see this gap, this gap is required because the hinge sets down there, right? So as you open this box, watch, watch what happens to this gap. The lid rolls back. Now my lid, I have it set so that I'm about an eighth inch away. I'm not quite touching. So that's right, what you see there, that's as close as you could have it. I'll post a picture up with that dimension. So this is my tread plate that I put on the front on the top and on the rear and surprisingly from Harbor Freight I was really uh, leery about this and wondering what the adhesive was going to be like and uh, surprisingly the adhesive is extremely I mean once you touch something it is there you're not getting it back off if you're going to get it back off you're going to ruin it so we got rear top front so I think that, that's some good stuff to, you know, to realize that Harbor Freight has that for you and that you can pick that stuff up. And this DZ box, this is DZ brand right here. And this is, like I said, it's on Amazon. There's your DZ part number right there. The, uh, I think I searched for um, trailer tongue toolbox. So as you can see, I have U-bolts uh, there. And I have U-bolts there. Right here and right here so I mean at, at this point this thing is extremely solidly mounted now I have heard that the bottom if you load it with too heavy of weight the bottom could sag and in that case you might need to add a weld in a, a quick beam or something like that so I'll let you know if I end up doing that but if I need to I'll buzz in a quick piece of channel or tubing or something just to support that bottom of the box but I'm not as of right now, I don't plan on loading the box with a bunch, bunch of heavy stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, this uh, tire carrier, I like that. I like you know, where it's at, and I can see myself reproducing it and putting another one there. That way, I'll have two tires with me if I'm going to go on a long trip somewhere hauling something. Um, real happy with my Quality Trailers Inc. toolbox that I picked up from Smouse uh, down near New Stanton, PA. Uh, right off the turnpike there so uh, yeah check it out I'll give you some links to the stuff that I purchased here in case you're interested in buying it as well but um, thank you hey do me a favor and uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy seeing the kind of little projects that I do around here and uh, you know hopefully if I get enough uh, likers and subscribers I can eventually start to make a little bit of money off of this and buy some better equipment and make better videos for you all right all right thank you guys